Welcome to another video by DJSPRC. Project Cherokee. We're going to do the shocks today on Project Cherokee. But before we continue, I would like to say this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. The link will be down below, but www.greathobbies.com. What I did in advance, I built uh, three of the shocks. I left one to show to you, show you guys. Um, there's two two reservoirs you can put. These are fakes. They're called bypasses. Uh, in the kit itself, they give you a black one or these aluminum ones. I decided to go with the aluminum ones on them. And you got the, the shocks, the spring, should I say. You have two of them. You got yellow and white. Uh, the physical, the white ones are the rears and the yellows are the front. We have a front left to do here. This is the uh, reservoir. They give you nice little stickers to put on top. And here they show you how it, exactly it goes. We're just gonna put this upside down. Lay that one on top of it. <clears throat> and now we're gonna find our 1.5. It goes underneath, and you see your screw gun comes out. Then you grab your shock cap, and you just screw it on top, or underneath, should I say. Now you do have an O-ring. These guys here are sometimes a pain to put in. You just make sure they're on the bottom. On camera, it's gonna be super hard to be able to show you, but you'll notice there's a place that the O-ring sits. Then you have your shock body. This is the spring uh, tensioner. Then you have your shock shaft. Now they give you C-clips and believe me, you could start putting these guys on and start saying words you're maybe you never said in your life because they are a pain to put on when i say pain they are a pain like even there <laughs> on your shock shaft there is a groove there's two of them I always do the bottom one then I can basically put the not the shock bypass but it's basically the the piston on top of the other one and use the piston itself to put the other C-clip on Come on. Sometimes having magnetized tools, it helps. But in this case here right now, it doesn't. This is just wants to come out. Yes, there we go. It holds your piston there. Now you grab your shock body insert the piston inside stretch it they give you two red o-rings slide the o-ring on top what i do i put a little bit of shock lube or silicone should i say a little bit on the shaft itself and slide that o-ring and they give you a plastic spacer And another O-ring. Then you have your physically bottom cap. <clears throat> that you screw in. Then you have your, your seals. 
Now the other part you need to do is install the bottom uh, of your shock. And if you try to basically screw it in, it's sometimes you be, you'll be able to do it in the first shot, but three quarters of the time, it does not go well. What I do, I grab a spur driver, three mil screw, and I pre-drilled my holes. Now it comes time to do this guy here. A lot easier. I grab a good pair of pliers that have uh, indentation inside. Start the driver and just turn it. And just make sure your shot doesn't turn because if it turns itself, you're going to scratch it. And you go. Now it's to fill your shock. Now these guys here, you cannot fill it all the way up. You fill it roughly about a quarter to the top. Now if you do fill it too much, don't worry, you can empty it. I try not to fill it too much. They are a little bit difficult. They're not like other ones I built in the past. But now I'm going to bring my piston up and bring it down. I'm just trying to remove any air, any air bubbles. Okay. Now install a shock cap, making sure our O ring doesn't do that. And once you did that, basically what you need to do is compress your shock and it's supposed to come out by itself. That's telling you that you did a good job. Let's put our spring, our spring re bottom spring retainer, and can't remember the name for some reason, the, sh the, the, the yeah, it's the top cap. Not the cap, but again, I just don't, I forgot the name. Ball in. Insert your ball in, and you have your shocks. Now all four are done. And now you have your tensioners, that you can put a little bit more tension to them. Like I said, white in the rear, yellow in the front. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the bell. Should I say a thumbs up? <laughs> it's a long day. Uh, if you want to hit the bell notification, it will let you know the next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.